And uh, now, first of all, the current facilities are located out of the VA or out of the Cameron Veterans Home. Is that right? That's correct. And what kind of advantages is this going to give you being able to move over here and more spacious facilities? Well, more space means that um, we can offer more services. So um, we can do, uh, we have a nice uh, patient conference room where we can do group meetings and education for the, for the vets. We can also uh, offer more specialty care. So we have a bigger area where if we have a patient who first they would need uh, physical therapy, we'd have room to bring physical therapy up here instead of having them go to the Kansas City VA and work with them. Oh, wow. So it saves, saves a lot of people a lot of money in driving, it yes. sounds like. Yes. Our goal, we ha our goal is to keep them in Cameron as much as possible so they don't have to make the trip downtown. Absolutely. And uh, with COVID-19 going on and everything like that, uh, how's that going to factor, especially with you guys just opened up Monday? And this is the biggest issue at the Veterans Home right now. Uh, I mean, how's this going to help things out? Well, we, we do screen our patients and we ask them, you know, to definitely call if they're having any kind of symptoms before they come in. Um, we offer the COVID test here for veterans who are symptomatic and, and so we can get that and send it downtown. They don't have to go down to the VA to get tested. We um, try to maintain distance here in the waiting room. Everyone's required to wear a mask when they come in. and. Um, if it would get too busy, we we might ask them to wait out in their cars until we had, you know, kind of gone down just for their safety. Okay. And uh, now what's going to happen with the old facilities at the Veterans Home? Or is that going to, are you going to try to operate those simultaneously? Or? No, the Veterans Home will take over that space. Oh, great, great. Because, you know, they need all the space they can get. They do. Know? And uh, as far as the additional services, uh, you might have mentioned them, could, but could you mention them one more time? Uh so we can offer more specialty care, like um, more telehealth. For one, we have more bandwidth up here with this building than we had at the old facility. So we can do more telehealth uh, visits, um, teleretinal imaging. We also have a new program coming on that optometry is gonna do some specialty care up here. So they can do a little bit more than they could before. Um, physical therapy, we can also have, res we're gonna have respiratory care come up. We have cardiology come up about once a quarter to ch do pacemaker checks and things like that, things they would have originally had to drive down to the Kansas City VA for. We do sleep clinic, um, hematology, oncology, follow-up visits, some surgery. Uh, we're looking to doing surgery post-op and pre-op care. And as far as now, the big knock on the VA has always been, I can never get in there, long lines, long calls, but with this extra facility opening up, uh, how's that kind of help things out? Well, um, we don't, I mean, we, we can usually get patients in to be seen when they're needing to be seen. Mm -hmm. We offer urgent care visits for those who qualify. We, you know, we just have to make sure they're registered with the VA and we can get them an appointment.